Friday Night Funkin' took the web by storm when it came out last year. This web rhythm game is full of references and fun facts, on top of being way harder than it seems. I'm Camille Salzar Hadaway, and here are 107 facts about Friday Night Funkin'. Before jumping to the facts, let's quickly sum up the overall story of Friday Night Funkin'. The game follows the adventure of Boyfriend, who must defeat several opponents in rap battles to date Girlfriend. The game is split into seven weeks and each features three songs. Boyfriend's real name is Boyfriend. Coincidentally, Girlfriend's real name is, you guessed it, Girlfriend. Friday Night Funkin' is a free-to-play rhythm game developed by a team of four people. Cameron Ninja Muffin 99 Taylor, David Phantom Arcade Brown, Isaac Kawaii Sprite Garcia, and Evil Skater. This team is called the Funkin' Crew. Friday Night Funkin' is an homage to Flash games that no longer exist since Flash stopped being supported at the end of 2020. Prior to creating Friday Night Funkin', Ninja Muffin 99 developed several other browser games. These included Sick Day, a game where you just stay at home and chill with music, a parody of Resident Evil called Rebident Evil, and Ritz, a game where you play as a rat trying to get some cheese. Speaking of Ninja Muffin 99, he only follows two accounts on Twitter, Newgrounds.com, the website hosting Friday Night Funkin', and Carly Rae Jepsen, the singer of Call Me Maybe. In the early stages of development, Girlfriend was meant to cross and swap her legs during her idle animation. However, this animation was too complex and took too much time to develop, so the Funkin' crew decided to make her bop her head instead. Friday Night Funkin' was initially created for the Let Em Dare 47 Game Jam in October 2020. However, the game didn't win this competition and placed 314. Friday Night Funkin' gathers over 57 million views on Newgrounds. It's the most popular submission on the website. The release of Week 7 caused Newgrounds' server to crash, as too many players tried to access the game at the same time. After the site went back up, Friday Night Funkin' stayed unavailable for two days until Newgrounds increased the server's capacity. The Funkin' crew created a Kickstarter project for a full version of the game, called Friday Night Funkin' The Full-Ass Game. 58,561 backers pledged $2,247,641 to help bring this project to life out of the initial $60,000 goal. Out of these 58,561 backers, 486 pledged a single dollar to get absolutely nothing in the game. Friday Night Funkin' The Full Ass Game will add 20 new levels to the original game. As each level contains three songs, that would make for a total of 60 additional songs. It will also support local two-player fights and be available on mobile devices. In February 2021, Ninja Muffin 99 asked Nintendo to allow a Friday Night Funkin' port on the Switch. Nintendo declined. The reason most tracks in Friday Night Funkin' are only one word long is that Ninja Muffin 99 didn't want to code the spaces in the original lettering system of the game. Dad Battle, the first and last song of week one, was the first track where both Boyfriend and his opponent harmonize. Since the week seven update, Fresh, the second track of week one, also features harmonization between the two opponents during the beatbox part on hard mode. All characters are voiced by Kawaii Sprite, except for Mommy Mirus, Skid and Pump, Monster, and Tank Man. Well, 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 what do we got here? Mommy Mirus' vocals were provided by Monica Franco, a voice actress known for her role as Veggy on the animated web series Has Been Hotel. Skid and Pumps are voiced by Senior Pello, the creator of the characters from his web series Spooky Month. Tank Man's voice is courtesy of Johnny Utah, the creator of the Tank Man series. Johnny Utah also redesigned both the Friday Night Funkin' logo and the current Newgrounds logo. Monster is voiced by Bassett Films, an animator on Newgrounds who helped design the character with Phantom Arcade. Despite appearances, Monster's head is not a lemon. It is just shaped and colored like one. Satin Panties, the first track of week four, is also the first track with two words in its name. In a sneak peek video for week four, Ninja Muffin 99 misspelled Satin Panties as Satin Panties, 
kawaii sprite then unlocked the video with this misspelled title on his YouTube as a joke before editing it back to its original title. Week 5 features several cameos. On the ground floor, we see Darnell from Pico School, Zone Tan from Zone Archive, as well as Jason, Chris, and Stan from Tom Flup's Nightmare Cops game. On the second floor, there's Pico from Pico School, Kenstar from Girl Chan and Paradise web series, an evil skater character called Buggy the Bug, a character from Cool Dude called Romney, Blockhead from Blockhead web series, Meat Boy from Super Meat Boy, Chris and Zach from Hellbenders, Gentles and Gooey from Gentles Web Short, Sublo and Tangy Mustard from the web series with the same name, Henry Stickman from the eponymous series, Squidward characters from their Friday Night Funkin' Parody animation, Monster from Week 2 and 5, as well as the Japanese vocaloid Hatsune Miku. One more character was supposed to appear in the background, Rollis, a character created by Spill, a long friend of Evil Skater. However, this character never made it to the game for unknown reasons. Monster is able to twist perception, which is why the background of week 5 is so gruesome, with the girlfriend's head as the star on top of the Christmas tree. Fresh, the second track of week 1, is the only song from the game to have an official remix by its composer Kawaii Sprite. The remix, called the Fresh Boyfriend Remix, appears in Friday Night Funkin' OST Volume 1. Another remix of the song, titled Fresh Chill Mix, appears in the second OST of the game. Blammed, the third and final track of week three, takes its name from the Newgrounds term Blam, meaning destroying someone else's hard work. Boyfriend's hair was originally pink instead of blue. His hair is not dyed, but is naturally blue. MILF and Stress have the fastest scroll speed of any track in the game, with a note speed of 2.6. Pico regularly smokes marijuana and has an IQ of 127. He dreams of becoming a professional DJ and trains with his best friend, Darnell. According to Phantom Arcade, boyfriend managed to pick up girlfriend thanks to his fingerboard tricks. Prior to developing Friday Night Funkin', Phantom Arcade was a Metal Gear Solid VR mission speedrunner. He even holds the world record for the most deaths against Orange Diamonds. When he is not competing in rap battles, Boyfriend likes to listen to Kanye West music. Week 5 was the first week to include a track not produced by Kawaii Sprite, at least until update 0.2.8. Winter Horrorland, the third track of this week, was composed and performed by Bassett Films. Guns is a song that collects silver medals. It is the second track of week 7, the second fastest song in the game, the second highest note count on hard mode, and the second longest song in the game. It is also the only song where Tank Man doesn't have any special animations. Dad Battle, the third and last song of week 1, is the only new song created for that week. The other two songs, Bo Peepo and Fresh, originally appeared in the Let Em Dare prototype of Friday Night Funkin'. Friday Night Funkin' OST Volume 1 is the first official album of the Friday Night Funkin' soundtrack. Its artwork looks like a PlayStation game disc cover with the Newgrounds logo in the corner of where the game company's logo usually appears. Spookies, the first track of Week 2, was almost impossible to beat for most players. Version 0.2.5 nerfed the song to make it easier to complete. Spookies is performed by Pump, while the second song of Week 2, South, is performed by Skid. Pressing R in FNF causes an instant game over, except in the early version of Week 6. If the player pressed R during cutscenes in story mode, everything would freeze and you could hear the sound of boyfriend's skeleton cracking and the mic dropping. The game over screen would never appear and the game would crash, forcing players to restart the game. This glitch was fixed with update 0.2.8. Boyfriend has the most unused animations in the game. Pico collects vinyl records. His favorite artists are Joy Division, Gary Newman, Natural Born Chillers, and The Cure. He also listens to Bauhaus, The Sisters of Mercy, KMFDM, 
and Green Day. Mommy Marist appears in week four, a level also titled Mommy Must Murder. This title is a reference to an unfinished game created by Ninja Muffin 99 in Phantom Arcade called Must Murder Mommy, where the goal is to kill your mom. Boyfriend's favorite Newgrounds game is called Newgrounds Rumble, a brawler similar to Super Smash Brothers. Girlfriend prefers Alien Hominid, a shooter where you play as an alien killing FBI agents that try to capture you. Mommy Maris and Daddy Dearest have the highest number of tracks out of all antagonists, with a total of five songs. Girlfriend, Monster, and Spirit are the only characters that do not use a microphone. The original name of Philly, the second track of week three, was Philly Nice. It is a reference to the stereotype that Philadelphians are supposed to be blunt. Before it was called Philly Nice, the name of the song was actually Long Time Intro. The singing animation of all characters lasts at least two frames, except for Daddy Darius, which lasts a single frame. Spirit is the only character that knows he is trapped inside a game. He wants to break free to take control of boyfriend and girlfriend's bodies and getting revenge on Daddy Dearest. Spirit is also trapped inside Senpai, but he does not control him. Even if the two are distinct characters, they share the same voice. Monster, the last track of week two, is the longest of Friday Night Funkin'. It lasts two minutes and 57 seconds. Daddy Dearest doesn't play any instruments, but he can sing. He does the rap battle against Boyfriend out of pride to be condescending. In the first versions of Hi and M.I.L.F., the second and third tracks of week four, the notes were attributed to the wrong characters. Boyfriend sang the notes for Mommy Miris and vice versa. This was later fixed with the 0.2.8 update. Even if the game is called Friday Night Funkin', the real meaning of M.I.L.F. is not Mother I'd Like to Funk. Week 6 features Senpai, the main character of a dating sim belonging to Girlfriend. However, this dating sim was not the original idea for the topic of this week. Instead, the Funkin' crew wanted to create a game like Dragon Quest, but it did not really fit in the romance theme of Friday Night Funkin', so they opted instead for a dating simulator. The name of Week 6, Hating Simulator, is also a reference to this fact of being a dating simulator. As Week 6 is based on a dating simulator, the usual Ready, Set, Go line before a song begins changes as Ready, Set, Date. One of the references used for Senpai's song is Toki Meki Memorial, a 1994 Japanese dating simulator. If Mal Santa has wide open eyes, it is not because he is not scared of being held at gunpoint, but rather because he is staring at Mommy Mirus' breast. Bopipo takes its name from the sound characters make while singing. It was initially the only track featuring Boyfriend's V-Pose. It was added to fix a bug where Boyfriend would get stuck with the last animation he used. Even if that was fixed with the release of the game, Boyfriend kept his V-Pose. It was also added to the tutorial with the release of Week 7. Spirit's face is based on Tom Flup, the founder of Newgrounds. If Boyfriend fails to hit a note during a 10 plus note combo, Girlfriend will cry, except in Weeks 4 and and six. Both boyfriend and girlfriend are 19 years old. Senpai is one year younger than them. He is 18 years old and a senior in high school. Despite popular belief, he is not a teacher, but a student. Tankman breaks the fourth wall and talks directly to the player in some of his game over lines. I hope you're not some internet streamer screaming like a sociopath right now. According to Ninja Muffin 99, Monster doesn't have a name and people can call him whatever they want, at least for now. Boyfriend is bisexual and Pico is his ex. It started out as a joke within the Friday Night Funkin' community, but the creators of both characters later made this canon. According to Phantom Arcade and Ninja Muffin 99, Girlfriend is really dumb and has blind faith in Boyfriend. Senpai and Spirit are the only two characters that do not follow the main art style of the game, but are instead portrayed in a 32-bit style. Boyfriend's singing voice is provided by Kawaii Sprite, while his groans when his bones crack are from Phantom Arcade. In his original concept art, Senpai was supposed to have heterochromia, with one eye blue and the other green. Week 2 lacked a song upon its release because Monster's song was too complex to map. After Monster's files were discovered, a Reddit user mapped the entire song, which was added during the release of Week 7. The Let Em Dare prototype of Friday Night Funkin' didn't have any pause screen 
or in-game menu. The only way to pause the game was to click out of the game's window. If Boyfriend is so reckless and overconfident, it is because he is far too dumb to be afraid of things. At least according to Phantom Arcade. Boyfriend is startled by lightning, just like Girlfriend. Even if they are both extremely dumb, Boyfriend and Girlfriend have respective talents. Boyfriend knows what to do if you accidentally shoot a bullet into your thigh and can't afford a hospital visit. And Girlfriend knows how to file taxes. She doesn't know how to cook, but she could still make a PB&J sandwich. The earlier sprites of Monster were buggy. His neck would appear long and clip inside of his mouth whenever he bopped his head down. This was later fixed with new animation. According to Phantom Arcade, Week 2 happens after the defeat of Mommy Mirist in Week 4. Spirit's sprite sheet was generated with a different program than the original characters of the game. As a result, its sprite is a TXT file instead of XML. The background of Week 5 features special shops. Their store signs read Salads and Sex, LMAO, Junk and Shit, and Crap. In the concept art sketches for Week 5, the stores were named Skater Shop, KB Store, and Ninja Muffin. It also features two posters, one saying High Blade, and another with a picture of Ninja Muffin 99's character. The house where Week 2 takes place belongs to Girlfriend's family. Getting a Game Over screen on the Week 7 track Stress reveals Girlfriend as a demon, with a red skeleton, spiky teeth, and a pair of black horns. She can also make her eyes gleam red and her skin turn purple. Senpai is the first antagonist of the game to die when spirit burst out of him. However, he is not the first to disappear. Mall Santa passed away in week 5. The circumstances behind Mall Santa's death are unclear, but the Phantom Arcade stated he dies if you lose even once during week 5. The action of week 3 takes place on the rooftop of Newground's office. The background buildings are not from the same location, but are a reference to Alien Hominid and Pico's Unloaded, a game and animation available on Newgrounds. Girlfriend's favorite pizza topping is olive. Most characters have a canon favorite drink. Girlfriend likes cherry Dr. Pepper, Mommy Miris drinks White Claw Hard Seltzer, while Pickle prefers Sprite. Boyfriend went to public college, but dropped out because he preferred reading comics rather than studying. Senpai is the first antagonist to have dialogue boxes. He is also the first antagonist to change appearances in each song. MILF managed to reach number 44 on Billboard's chart's weekly debut Hot Dance Electronic Songs chart and placed number 37 on the United States Spotify viral chart. This track was inspired by the 2012 song MTC by Surreal, by S3RL, and Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Boyfriend's favorite foods are donuts, pepperoni pizza from Domino's, brisk iced tea, and milk. According to Ninja Muffin 99, Ritz the Rats is Boyfriend's brother, just like Stuart Little is George's brother. Week 6 is the first week to use a different art style than the rest of the game. It was created to celebrate Pixel Day, a Newgrounds holiday that started in 2016. The school in the background was originally fancier, but the Funkin' crew opted for a different artistic direction. Boyfriend makes a cameo in Senior Pello's animation, Spooky Month, Unwanted Guests, as a background plushie. Week 7 is the only week to have fully animated and voice acted cutscenes in between songs, even if Tankman is the only one to talk. Well, 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 what do we got here? The song featured in the cutscene for Stress and the trailer of the Friday Night Funkin' Kickstarter campaign is an extract from the Kawaii Sprites album Plop. Phantom Arcade loved the guitar solo part of the song, Class Ski, Romper, and wanted to use it in the game. Week 7 takes place in a restricted military zone in the middle of a sandy battlefield. Boyfriend and girlfriend ended up here because girlfriend's parents sent them on vacation but tampered with the plane so it would crash and kill boyfriend. Girlfriend has several unused voice clips that were going to be used for dialogue purposes but have been scrapped alongside the dialogue. There is little information about boyfriend's parents. All we know is that they work in accounting and paid for his studies. The original title of South, the second track of Week 2, was Spooky Down South. This track was inspired by the 3-6 Mafia, a hip-hop group from the 1990s. Daddy Darest is the first antagonist initially programmed in the game for the Ludum Dare prototype. In the original version of Week 4, Boyfriend, Girlfriend, and Mommy Mirrors lacked the hair physics effect. This was added with update 0.2.6, 
But this caused girlfriend to no longer cry when boyfriend missed a note because there's no sprite for it in the game's files. Week six is the only week to change the color of the arrow notes, turning the right arrow to orange instead of red. It is also the first week to introduce cutscenes for each track before the battle and dialogue between characters. Stress has the highest score of the game, with 157,150. Guns, the second track of week seven, is close behind with 156,800. Daddy Darius hired Pico to kill Boyfriend as revenge for his defeat in week one. However, Pico has a history with Boyfriend, so they did a rap battle instead. Stress, the last song of week seven, is the only track where someone else than Girlfriend is on the speakers. Pico is standing on it, shooting around. During the entire song, Pico kills a total of 79 tankmen, 81 if you count the pair besides the speaker during the cutscene. <laughs> Ah, uh, look who it is, your sexually ambiguous, angry little friend. Originally, the henchmen in the background of week four were supposed to get killed by getting hit by a lamppost. This idea was canceled to save development time, but Phantom Arcade said this feature might be back in the future. Both boyfriend and girlfriend are autistic and have ADHD. Pico has schizophrenia and is an insomniac. The game files for week six, the one based on a dating sim, are labeled Weeb. This term makes fun of non-Japanese people obsessed with anime and Japanese culture. Tankman's favorite track, Ugg, was a meme making fun of noises Johnny Utah made while voicing the character. This track counted over 7 million views and reached the trending tab of YouTube before it even released in the game. Thorns, the third and final song of week six, is the only song of this week to not have boyfriend talk during the cutscene dialogue. It is also the fastest song on Friday Night Funkin' with a BPM of 190. Thank you for watching this video. Did you learn anything about Friday Night Funkin'? If you did, please like this video and make sure to subscribe to the leaderboard for more gaming content every week.